Now to an update to a story that we first brought you Sunday in claims of squalor inside an Algiers apartment complex. Tenants at Oakmont Apartments spent a lot of time asking for help and finally that help is on the way. WDSU's Harrison Golden joins us live from City Hall tonight. Harrison, what kind of relief are we talking about that's on the table? Well, we're talking about the fact that hundreds of people live inside one of five apartment complexes owned by Joshua Bruno. He's a big time landlord here in New Orleans. Many of those tenants have spent some time trying to leave their apartments, but not having the resources to do so. But now their chance may come. I just don't like to live here because they're just roaches and I want to move to another apartment. This is where seven-year-old Whitney Watkins lives. When she plays, bugs scatter. And when she tries to sleep, she struggles to breathe. She be crying in every night. She's scared to go to sleep. She don't wake up. She wake up jumping out of sleep. Talina Watkins is Whitney's mom. She showed us her unit in Oakmont Apartments in Algiers. Appliances are broken, mold covers the walls and ceiling, and more bugs scatter, no matter how many times she sprays. It just come back more and more. You sweep, you clean, it still don't do no good. I'm tired. So city spokesman Bo Tidwell says Mayor Cantrell's housing office is jumping in. It's offering money to help tenants in five apartment complexes all owned by Joshua Bruno, move out. Um, and they're continuing to work with folks wherever they can to provide assistance. And tenants eligible for emergency rental assistance will qualify for as much as a year's worth of past due rent. You go in these units and you almost have to really protect yourself as just a visitor. Frank Southall is with the Renters Rights Assembly, which has called on the city to act for some time. He says this first offering marks a good start. A lot of the tenants are really excited and they're really excited to push forward the other demands they have. If y'all can try to help me get around, find me somewhere to go, me and my daughter, I got to go fast, quick and hurt. Talina has already started talking with caseworkers for her share of the help. Also, Whitney has a new place to breathe and to play. I want to move to like a different house with a backyard and stuff like that and I can play with all my toys. So now for the landlord himself, Joshua Bruno, we received a statement from him uh, just within the past few days. He says Hurricane Ida and COVID-19 have crippled his finances, making it more difficult to address some of the issues that uh, many of those tenants have been complaining about. That is his claim right now. Now, as for the city's latest offering, we reached out again to him today. We have yet to hear back. Now we are reporting live at City Hall. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.